So today we've uh, we got some big block Chevrolet heads. What we're doing is we're putting bigger valves in them. This is a, a 781 casting. If you look at this casting here, it's a it's a 781 casting. It's a mid 70s date code on these. This is one of the best flowing factory heads that Chevrolet made. And, and what we're doing is we're putting in a, a bigger set of valves. These are stainless, undercut, swirl polished uh, Faria valves that we're putting in here. They're going to put this on a street rod. It's a 427 and they want to make uh, right around 500 horsepower. Um, a lot of factory heads, it's, it's very difficult to get 500 horsepower out of them, but with these 781 heads you can actually do it and it helps a lot if you put the bigger valves in. So I just wanted to kind of show you the machine work process. So you can see we've got this seat cut out here. We've cut the throat and we've actually cut the seat area and made it compatible with this, this larger valve. And so the valve fits in there real nice. You know, of course we'll test the seating capability and, and uh, you know, final final touch that up if we need to with a stone. You can see that the exhaust has not been done yet because it's two different setups on the big block because of the canned valves. So we're going to have to cut these exhaust seats too. Fortunately, these actually have flame hardened seats because these were mid 70s so they have a hardened seat in there so we don't have to put an insert in. So you can see the difference how this valve doesn't really fit on that seat. So we're going to go in and we're going to cut the the next setup is we're going to cut the exhaust seat as well. But I want to show you how we do that. We'll just put these in here. We've, we're getting ready to cut the last intake seat here. We have a couple of tools. We have a, a throat cutter, which is this one here. We have a pilot that goes in. And we just pilot the throat cutter so you can see once we get this over here and line it up with our tool now that the Chevrolet is a little bit more of a setup. We have to angle our cradle here because we have canted valves. So we have to get the guide perfectly level in both directions with the machine. So if you look at your our seat area here, you can see we're gonna go in and we're gonna we're gonna start cutting that throat out of there. Because you can't just make the seat bigger, you actually have to cut the throat down there. So you, you can see that it's going to take a real nice bite out of that throat with this, this cutter. This cutter is actually the exact angle of the GM heads from the factory. It's a, it's a big block Chevrolet cutter made by Sunning. So once we get down to where we bottom out on our cutter. We've, we've set this cutter up so that it will cut a certain amount out. And once you get the throat cut, so that you have adequate airflow underneath the seat area, it's actually relatively simple to, to cut the, the angles. bottomed out right there. So now if you take a look at this thing here, you can actually see the how we opened up that throat there. We also have another set of cutters or another cutter. Now if you if you look at this other cutter here, it actually has the three angles on it that we need. And we've set the, the we've uh, set this up on our fixture so that is the 45 degree angle matches the 45 degree angle on our bigger valve. So we just take this cutter in there and once you get that throat cut it really doesn't take much. Uh, you just basically true up the three angles. And we're going to go in and you'll see this thing start taking those angles out of there. We'll just go down until we get our seat angle, a 30 degree angle above that, and then a 60 degree angle before that, below that, below the seat, and we just go down until it cleans up, and now you have basically machine this 
10 for a bigger mouth. If you take a look at that seat area there, we'll have to get them chips out of there. You can see that our valve is going to fit in there real nice. Then we just take our, our valves. This is our intake valve here. This is the seat that we just cut now. Put this in and it's a real nice fit there. And that's basically how you do it. We've modified this head with bigger valves so we can make some pretty big horsepower out of it. So getting the seats modified is something that pretty much any machine shop that's worth their salt can do. Um, and I recommend it if you're going to use a set of 781s. Now this engine here, it's going to be a street motor, but this guy, you know, that's building this, he's kind of a, you know, crazy dude. And so he's going to make about 11 and a half, 12 to 1 compression with this thing with dome pistons. And um, it's probably better to go with a 781 if you're going to use a casting head or one of the better castings. There's a couple other ones that are decent with an open chamber head and a dome piston rather than a closed chamber head with a flat top because you get more combustion chamber area. And if you put bigger valves in and do a little porting, they work great. So for those of you who are big block fans, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.